Place home opened their doors to the public for the first time in more than two months. But the visitor experience looks a little different these days. Joining us on the phone this morning is the home's executive director, Sue Pickleton. Good morning, Sue. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. So the Helen Keller Birthplace, it offers a lot of hands-on exhibits, as many of us know. Walk us through, though, if you can, some of the changes that you guys have made on how the touring process now works. Well, uh, before the virus hit, we had a hands-on experience. My docents would carry the visitors uh, room to room and explain things to them. And then when they got into the museum room, they were allowed to touch the Braille book the Braille flag. It was a really a hands-on exhibit, uh, and now we're not going to be able to do that, of course. Uh, our docents are meeting everyone on the front porch, asking one person to come in and pay, and then she gives them about a 10-minute tour, and then she lets them tour on their own. Well, this time of year, Sue, it's usually your busiest time, splitting between school groups in the spring and summer vacations. Financially, how hard have you all been hit without being able to open? Uh, for the first time since 1954, when we opened our doors, uh, we had to close mm -hmm. uh, March the 17th. And we had 120 school groups on the calendar. Uh, that was devastating to us because you're looking at thousands of children that would have been coming through the doors of Ivy Green and also visiting our gift shop. So uh, it's quite devastating to us as far as our budget. The Miracle Worker, I want to transition here uh, at Ivy Green. Well known, world renowned, uh, every year people drawing in from around the world to see and take on the experience of the Miracle Worker at Ivy Green. You guys are continuing the play this year. The performance is going to look very, very different. Why was it so important for you guys to continue the play? Well, we are the official outdoor drama for the state of Alabama, and that is something that we're very proud of. We're going into our 59th year, and of course, we did not want uh, to break the tradition. Uh, people plan, I mean, I had reservations, uh, people calling in in December wanting uh, to get tickets for the Miracle Worker. And uh, the board felt that it was very important, even though we had to cut our season short, uh, to continue that tradition. So uh, that's where we stand right now. Instead of six weeks, we're going to be only doing it for three weekends. And, and what are we looking at as far as cutting the performances down? Are, are we doing uh, two, uh, half the tickets? Are you doing one performance a night now? Or, or how does that look? Uh, we normally can seat 600. Uh, but now we are, have got to cut our attendance in half, uh, where we have 100 or 220 reserve seats. Now we can only get, with a six feet distancing, uh, we can only get about 70 to 75 seats uh, as far as reserve seating. And then we will have to cut our uh, general admission, which are bleacher seats. That's also cut in half. So, you know, once again, that will affect our uh, income yeah. for the year. That is something that we certainly depended on to get us through the next year. Sue, so we're looking at some video right now of some of the seating, how kind of um, it's, it's spread out. How, how does that change the experience? Well, we hope that uh, it won't change the experience because we've often said we don't want you to see the miracle worker. Mm -hmm. We want you to experience it. And you're seeing our, our Annie Sullivan and our two Helen Kellers uh, that will be performing in the play. The play will be... Just like always, uh, it will be outstanding. Uh, people will be able to experience this production. It's just that we're going to have to seat families together. Mm -hmm. So that means that every day before we open our gates at 7 o'clock in the evening, I've got to place families together or two people together, one person. You know, So it's going to be a little challenging, but uh, we'll be able to do it. All right, Sue Pickleton, Helen Keller, Birthplace Executive Director. We wish you the best of luck this summer and moving forward. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you all so much for having me this morning. Thanks, Sue. 627 right now.